All right, so you've got your see-through, and now you want to collect a grid with some of the new features that are on there. You can see I laid out my grid. I also like to use a uh, square if I can to keep that nice and straight. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here to the settings menu. Now, I've chosen 10 nanoseconds uh, just because I know that this is only a 6 inch thick slab with one layer of rebar, so I don't need to collect more than about 15, 20 inches. That's a little overkill. We're also going to keep our scan interval at 20 scans an inch, which is going to give us uh, really the best resolution possible on the see-through. I've also selected 3 to 1 for my aspect ratio to give me nice tight hyperbolas, which really makes it easier to pick out the tops and points of those hyperbolas. Now, one of the cool new features, if you go down to the eye right here, is going to be our automatic stop um, or auto stop acquisition. You have to slide that on. I'm going to set mine at 30, 43 inches, which will be basically the unit will stop itself automatically 43 inches down from here. And we also are going to leave on time zero, band pass, background, gain. We're going to leave off migration and off on the Hilbert transformation. I would only use those in review mode. So we're going to go back. I'm going to leave on the AC power conductor as well as the lasers. I'm going to start a grid collection. And as you can see, the lasers help to know where the see-through is. We're going to turn on our lasers, leave it on automatic. And as you can see, automatic lets you then highlight the pink lines. So, since I'm staying in this position, we're also going to hit lock. So we're going to hit that one more time. That's going to lock. We're going to start our collection. Once I get lined up there with my first line, we're going to pull down nice and easy. And you'll see here in just a second, this is going to automatically stop right at the bottom. Boom. So that makes your collection a little bit faster and a little bit easier. So I'm going to slide over. On this particular collection, I'm going to do 4 inch spacing because I know that the rebar itself is at about a 6 inch spacing, so 4 inch spacing is more than ample.